Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend Bourbon. I got some some notes here. Um, this was done by Nancy Fraley, who's a master blender and a, a fan of the show. She trained uh, uh, under a 10th generation French cognac maker who moved to California in the 1980s. In 2016, she found herself smoking a pipe on her back porch in California under the glorious redwoods and did not feel that the, uh, the whiskey or bourbon pairings that she had blended or, or mixed well with her pipe. So she, you know, broke out the beakers, put on the mad scientist jacket, and <laughs> she decided to make her own bourbon for cigar smoke or cigar, cigar blend bourbon. Um, this is her batch number 17. This batch has bourbons from 11 and a half to 20 years old in it. And a note from Nancy. This bourbon tends to be very tight before you open it, like a fine red wine. Pour some liquid off the bottle down the neck to the shoulder and let it breathe and get a little bit more exposure to oxygen before drinking. I would highly recommend you do this for any whiskey that you guys want to review on the show, period. Um, so we poured it off and due to the COVIDs, um, we, uh, pre we actually pre-poured our, our bourbon today. Yep. So we have all got our highly coveted off sought after USA Kilts Glen Cairn glasses. And the uh, uh, the last point I'm gonna make, well, she actually wrote us a nice little note on here. Uh, I've already you know touched it, so I kind of you know screwed it up a little bit. But Taraki and the USA Kilts crew, thanks for keeping Celtic artisanship alive, Slancha and Nancy. So awesome. Thank you, Nancy. So now to the actual review of said bourbon. Mm -hmm. Um do you guys, Mac and Eric, do you guys want to do the aromatic and the palate notes before we start monkeying around with it? Or do you want me to read what they're supposed to be and then we'll do it? Here's the disclaimer note from Nancy as well. She's not a big fan of tasting notes um, because everyone smells and tastes things differently, which is true. Yeah, makes sense. Um, but I pressured her and said, look, we have no idea what the hell we're doing. We need we need something to aim for. So so I asked her for, for her uh, aromatic and palate notes. Um, do you want them now or do we want to wait and see if you can guess? I think it might be fun to see if we come up with the similar things to what she came up with. I think it'd be more fun. Okay, that's fine. Out. These are pretty obscure. She's a very intense lady. Because so she's uh, got that trained palate going she on. She knows so, what she's yeah. doing. We don't. So we can... Uh, we can leave these off for now, and we'll uh, get to okay. get to sniffing. Now is it is it pipe or cigar? Uh, did I say pipe? You said it's, cigar. It says cigar blend bourbon. It is cigar. Okay. Yes. Okay. Indeed. So I'm gonna. Are you supposed to pour water into it? I was about to ask. I don't know if you're supposed to water uh, bourbon or not. I'll do I a little will... bit of both. <laughs> There's yeah. a lot of rules with this one. <laughs> what do you smell there, Mac? What do you smell? Kind of reminds me of paint thinner, but uh, <laughs> we're off to a good start. Just about to Nancy the same thing. reminds us of paint thinner. Yes, yeah, say that. Ah, <laughs> oh, ye old turpentine. <laughs> Marvelous. I'd say paint thinner mixed with some wood. Yeah, it reminds me of my like basement in my childhood, <laughs> with my dad working on the bench, you know, making tables and stuff out of wood, and it, me sitting there hammering nails in the blocks. Me, um, to be kinder, it is. Uh, there's a little bit of a, I'm getting a kind of a cherry vanilla. You say, I'm picking up a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. A little <clears throat> caramelly also. So kind of classic generic notes that somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about would say. But um, it, but it, it's reminding me of Tester's model paint a little bit. <laughs> the, now. Which is actually nostalgic for me. I've read the notes, so I'm kind of cheating a little bit, but I'll say. I like the one, I'll say that. The no, I do like the nose. The one that I'm smelling a little bit is apricot. Remember, smile and open your mouth a little bit when you smell, according to Bill Reed. Yeah, it looks weird and awkward, but... I don't know. All right, enough smelling. I don't get the apricot. Okay. It's a little burny. It's definitely burny, but I kind of was expecting that yeah. from a bourbon. I got like an oaky kind of... Taste to it. A little bit of cherry now. Back of the throat. And then 
Yeah, and, and the top on the nose. It's like burning in the middle for me. It reminds me of uh, like like a pipe tobacco. It has yeah. that same like yeah. tendencies. Mm-hmm. I'll say this when we when we got it. I'm gonna water mine a little bit. Uh, yeah, a water too. Um, when we when we got it and started looking at the the tasting notes, when she was saying it was a, you know it was a cigar blend bourbon, and she wanted to send it to us, I was like, oh okay, cool. Um, we don't really drink, you know, Eric smokes pipes. We don't really smoke cigars, but that's fine. We'll still try it. Um, I was expecting it to have, um, like, a, in the tasting notes, like, either a leather or a tobacco or something like that in, in as a note to it. But it's yeah. not It's not on there. So. But it's supposed to complement. Yes. Understood. Tobacco. So. Yeah. All right. I'm going to read the aromatic notes since we're kind of fumbling a little bit on this one. Um, <coughs> that good, huh? It's no, not it's, the company. It's no, it's not bad. It's not I don't want you, you know you guys to think that I that I no, dislike it's, it. It's different from what I'm used to drinking. I just it's, need to spend some time with it. I think. It's there you go. It's very very warming, I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Um Aromatic notes. Grilled ripe peach, dried apricot, medjool date, cherry pie with a buttery crust, British Christmas cake, lime blossom, sassafras or root beer, and wild prunes. On the palate. Wild prunes. Wild. Specifically wild. Domesticated wild prunes. prunes. Oh. Wasn't that a John um, Waters film? I have no idea. Hmm. Um, palate. Fruity notes. Old cedar chest. Chocolate mousse, brown baking spices, sandalwood incense. To me, this sounds like the worst fruit smoothie ever. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, I was thinking about this. I'm like, I wonder if you, you take tasting notes from this or anything else and you work backwards and throw in all the stuff to a blender and mix in some alcohol if you could come anywhere close to the actual taste. You know, like try to try to backwards engineer it. Backwards engineer it in a horrible, horrible Well, we have way. done coffee and breath mints together, so <laughs> might as well do that next. Um, That's a fair point. I am I am not developed enough of a palate to pick up all of that kind of nuance. Um, Me neither. I do get I, I am getting some some of the fruitiness, some of the, the a peachy now now I'm getting more of a peachy apricot kind of a thing. Um, Suggestion. I'm still getting that sweet. It's very sweet on the front end. Um, it's still kind of burning to me. Now I will say, now that I've watered it, the nose does remind me of some to- uh, tobacco blends I have gotten for pipe smoking. It does remind me a little bit of uh, like a cherry uh, cherry pipe tobacco. Are you getting that? Yeah, I've noticed that. Uh, yeah, right off the bat, it sort of reminds me of the. I can't think of the the cherry that I normally get. I don't know if it's Paladin or. And there's another one that I usually mm. get okay. that it has that same initial bite, and then kind of tapers off like it. Yeah, yeah. It's it. it there was a cherry uh, English uh, tobacco blend that you see it called Doc Watson. Mm-hmm. And it kind of reminds me of that. What you had, Doc Watson? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. been a while, but yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. The the yeah. water uh, definitely helped. It definitely so. took the bite off. So. Um, it, oh, it, it leveled it out a bit. Um, yeah, and, um, and I'm, it's not nearly as burny uh, going right. down with a little bit of water. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it, and now I'm getting like an old book kind of a kind of a feel, like an old because uh, I'm sure you all have 120 year old books in your libraries, right? <laughs> um, yeah, kind of a leather leather books in the study kind of a. I'm liking it more and more. I'll, I'll the water like, an yeah. hour from now. I'm probably gonna like it a lot. Yeah, we we poured this out what ten minutes ago to let it breathe a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. We the the shoulder. We took the uh, uh, the scotch or the the bourbon down to the, the 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 off the neck of the bottle to the shoulder. We took it down to about here about a week ago um, yeah. just to try to let it you know hit the air a little bit more. Um, and then we poured it out or poured it into glasses. Um, that was about well. 20 minutes ago now, 25 minutes ago now. Um, but the water absolutely helps this to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but it does, it's, I, yeah, it's it's taking some getting used to. Especially because yeah. I, I was drinking Macallan this week. 
And it's so totally different from that. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, I could definitely get used to this. And I can't, you can't beat the color either. The color, yeah, the, the color is the color gorgeous. Is pleasure, mm -hmm. yeah, in and of itself. It's got it's some nice really legs. Really beautiful. Um, legs are when you you know pour it over to the side and you just watch the little the little drips run down the side. Um, it's got beautiful legs, Mac. <laughs> legs for days on this Scott or and it bourbon knows how to um, use them. Yes, exactly. The, um, the longer I'm letting it, after I'm dr drank it and like, get, kind of get that aftertaste, it almost reminds me of like. And this is gonna be bad too. Uh -oh. It's gonna be. It tastes like fresh cut grass smells. That's for me. interesting. That is interesting. I'll 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 say hey. Okay, or I get that. Root. Hey, or we have a we have a like a early summer wheat coming up in the fields near us, mm -hmm. and uh, and when it was ripening, just when it was ripening, you got this wonderful aroma off the field. Um, I could see that. I could see that with us. Tastes like the the foggy morning dew <laughs> of a wheat field in the breeze, like sixty seven degrees outside. Yeah, don't go mocking my wheat field, man. No, I'm going a little further down the rabbit hole here. Yeah, okay. Um, no, I'm, it's definitely a little Tastes bit sweeter. Tastes like a rabbit hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fur. Um, all right, very good. Mac, score one to ten on the Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend Bourbon. On these Scotch, I'm scale. gonna I'm gonna go with with a with a with a five point four, but I would like to field test this with a pipe, though. I agree. Fair point. If, Fair if we, point. If we could smoke in the building, I totally would have brought mm -hmm. a pipe in for this. Yeah, yeah. Fair point. Okay. <clears throat> so five point four for Mac. Eric, I'm gonna go like a seven point six. I'm 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 really kind of digging it now. I'm easing into it. Okay. And the water helped. So, yeah, yeah, the water definitely helped. The water upped my score, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go 5-8. Uh, okay. Strong score. I'm still, you know, still like it. Um, again, we are not, or I am not, I won't speak for you guys. I'm not myself a bourbon drinker, but it's better than, like, you know, Jack Daniels. Um, so it's a good showing. Yeah, thank you, Nancy. Absolutely. I, I, this is this is actually really special. Yeah, it's yeah. it's awesome. It's very interesting. I love when people send us scotch and bourbon <laughs> and all kinds of alcohol. Can't, can't complain about that. Absolutely yeah. not. 